continuing on with my adventure through 88 film species box set we are on to 2004's species 3. now this movie is a straight continuation from species 2 starting off immediately from the end of that movie at the end of that movie uh, eve is dead they're transporting her body in an ambulance when uh, one of the army guys who's ex uh, transporting her turns out to be someone mysterious he hijacks the ambulance and takes a baby that eve has delivered within the back of the car even though she's been dead she's delivered this baby he takes it and runs away turns out that this character is dr abbott a, a man a scientist who uh, deals with the uh, dna and with uh, various different kind of aspects of, of looking at preserving life in some form or another and he starts to raise uh, this young girl Sarah is her name and he keeps her in his house as he studies her taking blood samples checking what's going on and just uh, keeping an eye on her I'm going out now don't try to stop me have I stood in your way Sarah this is your home not a prison we're your friends you do as you like and when he uh, recruits the help of Dean, a young man at a university that he works, the two of these guys kind of get drawn into a situation that they're not really well equipped to handle. Now, I kind of liked Species 3. Um, it feels a little bit of a mismatch. It's a little bit too long at 111 minutes. Feels like it should be condensed down a good chunk and it starts to lose steam in the final third of the movie but for the most part it's really kind of fun again a lot of the budget's been spent on effects and they're really terrific there is a wonderful effect near the start of the movie where we have a, an alien man who is slowly uh, decomposing because of just viruses within uh, earth and his body just almost melts and explodes and all these tentacles fall out from his stomach and it's wonderful terrific practical effects and a low budget sci-fi movie and it still looks great <laughs> um, a lot of the story is set in a few locations here we don't travel too much about because it seems like a smaller budget and we have a more contained cast as well now, the main issues i probably have with species 3 is the turns that it takes later on we lose one of our main characters which i feel really derails a lot of the movie and we are introduced to a kind of secondary alien character in the form of amelia which really starts to come out of nowhere and creates a kind of bad alien for our good alien Sarah to kind of rival against. I'm Amelia. You must be Hastings. Where can I go and freshen up? But the movie's fun. The movie has countless fun sequences that are just so entertaining. It's got some terrific effects. There is a, some wonderful CG effects as well as there's one moment where a man is kind of whipped in two. Um, and it looks amazing. We get to see our alien in rubber suit glory later on at the end, and it looks pretty good, to be fair. <laughs> uh, the effects generally are, are really hold up, uh, which is unusual, especially for like a low budget direct to video movie. When you look at some big budgeted movies, um, how those effects just don't land. A lot of mix of practical, some CGI, and to be honest, it really holds up. But the story is just a little bit too long. But then, there is a lot of fun to be had here. I think um, this is one of those ones where I was expecting something to be a lot worse, but it turned out to be something that I really enjoyed. I thought um, the performance from Sarah it was absolutely fantastic. I thought she was terrific. I thought Amelia coming into the movie at the end it's a bit of a weird addition because it's a, a late on introduction for this character but it's a, a character that's such a force of nature it's just terrific check the oil too unless that's too hard for you oh, i feel that the loss of one of our characters early on 
I say early on, midway through the movie towards the, the final third is a real loss um, and kind of breaks the dynamic of a group of our heroes uh, as well. Our main actor of Robin Dunn, who plays Dean, is kind of just an everyman. He, he's neither great nor bad. But you know what? Species 3, overall, was really enjoyable. One that I, I thought was pretty terrific. And of course, we'll, we'll dive in, have a look at the extras on the uh, show here, uh, and see what they have to offer. So here we are in the disc of Species 3. I'm going to the special features and into the sub menu for audio commentaries. There are two here, one with director Brad Turner, writer Ben Ripley and actor Robin Dunn. And then we have audio commentary with film journalist David Wayne and Maddie Budrovich. And these are, yeah, you got to admire their love for genre cinema and their love for the species uh, series as well. And they highlight a lot of fun facts about this one and bring their uh, wealth of knowledge and witty humorisms to another commentary. Then we have Alien Odyssey, Evolution at 13 minutes 41, kind of rough making of and how people got their parts, talking heads. Uh, then we have Species DNA which is all about the production design at 6 minutes 22 seconds. We then have Alien Technology, how they created some of the effects at 5 minutes 40. And then we have Intelligent Life Forms, and they're talking about the change of creature design in this entry of the series at 9 minutes 56 seconds. Next up in Genesis at 8 minutes 55 is a kind of retrospective Henstridge. Uh, and Mancuso interviews talking about the creation and evolution of the character but this is stuff that I've seen on other discs and Falling Apart is a 4 minutes 6 second talking about the best effect in the movie the person being split in half which is worth watching the movie just to see that scene then we have the original trailer and a stills gallery and that is it for the special features on Species 3 there we have it, Species 3 I'm really happy so far. I've enjoyed all three of the Species movies and I feel like they all offer different things, um, which is great. I'm looking forward to going on to part four, The Awakening, which, who knows, maybe, maybe there'll be one bad movie in this bunch, but you know, I'm, I'm happy that three so far have been really enjoyable. I would love to know your thoughts on Species 3. Let me know in the comment box below. And of course, there's more content up here. You want to see more of my stuff? Hit that like button because magic happens. Trust me, big, fancy, amazing magic. And you can join me on Patreon for the membership program for as little as 99p a month, which is amazing. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time on Man V Film.